Maybe some of you have seen this, maybe some of you have not, but I'm not even fucking joking. This is not a hack. This is not some kind of bullshit. This is an actual legitimate gun that you can use right now on Call of Duty. <clears throat> For the dog shit. Roll the fucking clip, Nancy. Hit it. This is probably the most overpowered, not probably, at least for hardcore mode, the most overpowered, most ridiculous gun in the history of Call of Duty. This makes the model, whatever, 1887s from Modern Warfare 2 pre-patch, you guys remember that dual 1887s? If you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google that shit, you're on YouTube already. Put down overpowered Modern Warfare 2 dual 1887 shotguns. It, it, those, those were ridiculous. This, this makes that look like a baby dick. This, 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 this is ridiculous. And, and that, that's why I'm gonna play Call of Duty and work for anymore. I, I honestly, this is honestly why I'm getting disenfranchised and bored of this goddamn, I guess, series or franchise, as one would want to call it, for Call of Duty. It's just, man, give me a fucking break, dude. How many years have I been playing this? Like 12, 13 years. And I'm like, you know, it was kind of fuckery before with other kind of problems, but now, you know, in the last few years with this, the DLC and the guns coming out and just like, you know what, they start off okay and then they start throwing shit in there and it's just, it's, it's broken. I mean, Infinite Warfare, at least with the salvage out of all the Call of Duties recently, sort of had a little work around. You still were getting fucked, but it's like there's a little anesthesia down there so you didn't get feeling your anus, like you weren't actually getting fucking stretched out and gate and having a prolapsed anus. So for that, you know, it's the least goddamn rapey out of all the supply drop systems going on, I think. Black Ops 3 is the worst. I mean, the chances, like I said, of getting anything out of that bullshit without having to buy $1,500 worth of COD points like all these other YouTubers do. Actually, I'm going to take that back. Other YouTubers don't actually buy COD points. The development team hooks them up. That's why they probably have every single DLC gun on launch out of the supply drop before anybody else does, doing amazing supply drop opening videos, and then two weeks later when the community is turning on them, do a video talking about how they think supply drops are shitty, but then like the next week when they come up with new guns and the supply drops, they're the first guys doing, again, you know, getting free guns from the, or free COD points or whatever, they're getting codes or some shit and opening supply drops and, oh, big surprise, they've got all the new guns. But it's just sort of getting a bit ridiculous. That, that gun is, like, are you, are you fucking kidding me? What, what? Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. It's getting dumb. COD World War II is coming out, and we got the goddamn biggest ass wipes of the supply drop system ever. Michael Condry and Glenn, I wishes he was an artist, Schofield, um, doing their bullshit. So, who fucking knows, man? I don't know. It's, it's getting out of control, and it always has been out of control, and it's just going to get worse. COD World War II, MP40, pink camo, shooting out uh, 420 blazed marijuana symbols, and spreading love and fucking goddamn good vibes to the Nazis who are going to be in the game. So I, I don't know what the fuck, dude. I don't know what to say. I just, I just really wanted to show this and show the ridiculousness of Call of Duty and the stupidity of this game. I'm sure it'll be patched. I don't give a fuck. I don't even play Infinite Warfare anymore because the game is so goddamn random. The, uh, the connection, sometimes I'm a super agent, MK Ultra, reptilian shapeshifter that cannot be touched, just flew down from the moon base with super skills, and I fucking kick everyone's ass. And then sometimes I turn the game on and I can't do shit. Like, there's something wrong with the game when I can go 40 and 2, and then in our game, I start off 0 and 11, and I'm playing against the same people in the lobby. It's not as if, like, they somehow got magic skills. It, it, it's all connection-based. Infinite Warfare is the biggest connection-based game for doing well, it seems to me. Out of any Call of Duty, maybe COD 4 Remastered is pretty close. That game's insta-death as well. But I just don't enjoy it anymore because it's too random. It doesn't seem to deal with skill. It seems to do with your connection. If you have a great connection, you have the best time ever. If you're in a shitty lobby or something's going on, you're having the worst time ever. And this gun, doesn't matter what fucking lobby you're in, you're going to kick everyone's ass and be the fucking true champion of Call of Duty cancer. So, with all that being said, thank you very much for watching the video. You know my name. It's 8 Thoughts, the greatest Call of Duty YouTuber out here. And you all stay black. And don't let the honky cracker... Reptilian shape sticker, build the moon base, crop the spring, kept jumping on the top, jumped 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 on the top,
Bring your motherfuckers down. Thank you for watching. We're out of this motherfucker. Peace out, bitches. Hold up.